Hello and welcome back to Terraria. I'm Lions of My Gaming, and last time we really, really tried to fight Skeletron, and it just was not working. So today, we're going to be trying again after I've done a few things off screen. Um, I went to... I went to hell. Sorry, hold on, there's a blood moon going on. Okay. I went to hell and finished our elevator so that I could kill a bunch of demons to try to get Demon Scythe because I think Demon Scythe is a better weapon for us and may do significantly better against Skeletron. Additionally, uh, while I was down there, I happened to get my Obsidian Rose that I'll need later. Uh, which was really lucky. It's a one in a thousand drop rate, so that was that was pretty clutch from the fire imps. Um, otherwise, I also did some fishing, and during that time, the traveling merchant showed up, and he sold me the gray zappinator. So we may be able to make something out of that as well. Um, I need to get a reforge on both the zappinator and the demon scythe. And then I believe we are all set to give this another go. Actually, how much money do I have? I've got some cash. Anyways, we've got to wait on the Blood Moon anyways, so I will see you guys when that is over. All right, with all of our reforges out of the way, all we have to do is wait. Um, during that time, I'm actually going to go check what the quest fish is. All right, let's give this one more shot, and if this doesn't work, I'll have to expand the the uh, platforms and make it a bit better. But I think the demon scythe might help us do it. I would like him to walk back. Yeah, get back there. Oh, this is just a fantastic start. Actually, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't buff. I didn't get set up right. I'm just gonna go back. I don't know if he's still alive. Damn it. Maybe I should literally just build a staircase. Okay. I've expanded the arena a little bit. I'm hoping that that is going to help us. For the love of God. So we're going to try to fight Skeletron again. Once I get over here, because I'm not worried about it taking the whole time. The issue is he keeps murdering me. Ow, you're not supposed to take fall damage right off the bat. Okay, buff up, talk to him, curse him, let's go. Hey, you, fuck off. Okay. Hi. Fuck your hands. Demon Scythe is really good for fighting Skeletron. Holy cow. Perfect. Yeah, keep on spinning. Oh my god, this is stressing me out. Yeah. 
Yeah, keep on spinning. Keep on spinning. My heart is pounding. Oh, come on, please. Skeletron, please just fucking die. Oh my god. Potion? Please die. I'm so done with you. Thank the Lord! <clears throat> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, I've been so frustrated with him. I'm so glad we did it. Holy shit. Finally. Death Scythe was the way. It's so good. And it's not even that hard to get. It's like a almost 3% drop on Master Mode from demons. And if you just throw... I mean, it's not that great for killing normal enemies, but that's what the Zappinator's for. The Zappinator's fun. Um, I've, I've heard that people really like the Zappinator for Skeletron as well. Um, just because it has that... Well, for bosses in general. Probably bosses that are easier to continually hit than uh, Skeletron. Because it... Uh, has that chance to deal 10 times damage, which is kind of wild, and all the other random effects it has. Holy shit. All right, let's open up that bag. All right, we got the bone glove, um, which is the accessory, and then we got a Skeletron mask. Unfortunately, we didn't get what I wanted. We had about a 33% chance to get a, uh, a spell that is homing skulls, and actually, while our buffs are active, we're going to go down here. We're going to start the dungeon, because now we can explore it. Let's go. Um, I do need some sort of light source. i got to try to keep an eye out for water bolt. I don't have torches on me, do I? I do. Torches are a lot brighter. Let's just delve on in. So, Water Bolt's the, uh... No, oh, hey, buddy. Forget you. Oh, another nice thing about the Zappinator is the fact that it, uh... Still gets the, uh, no mana cost. Oh, I can't mine those yet. Um, still gets the no mana cost, like the, uh... Ooh, hello. Hello. Okay, just a second. Let's get something I can actually use against these guys. Better. Ow, ow, spikes. Still gets no mana cost effect from the meteorite armor. Or the meteor armor, I don't know what. Is it meteorite or meteor? Meteor. I'm sorry about the dogs. I can't... I don't know what it is about me recording that makes them decide they need to scream and shout and let it all out, but it's it's what they do. They'll be quiet all freaking day, and then the second I decide, you know what, I'm going to record a bit before work, they're like, ah, mm, 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 negative. Can't happen, Captain. We'll take that slime statue. We can use that to... Also, I've realized that this uh, shoots... A decent speed on its own at auto fires, but like I said, my mouse is all kinds of messed up right now. So that's that's probably part of the reason why I was having so much trouble. Um. Ooh. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to check your bookcases. <laughs> Bye. Oh, hello. Dungeon slime. Yes. No, wait. No, come back. I want you. Shoot. One of you is real. I really don't want to die for that dungeon slime. But I also really want that freaking golden key. Hey, Curse Skull, go away. Man, forget you. What am I hitting? 
Thank you. I don't know why my gun was just like, nah, we can't hit there, bro. Ain't gonna happen. Um, I'd like to find something that I can... My glow sticks don't want to cooperate. They just stick. Hmm. Oh, he despawned anyways. Then there's no point in bothering. Got him. Alright, so there's no point bothering that Dungeon Slime despawned. I need to keep an eye out for him, though. There's the ten times damage. Okay, maybe I need something a little more reliable for the dungeon. <laughs> oh, I am sure that I need to keep moving. And as you can see, sometimes it has crazy knockback, too. I just want to find a water bolt while I'm doing all of this. From what I know, it's a blue... Or, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a blue book on the... On the uh, overworld. But I'm just going to keep breaking them all. Ooh, that might be it right there. Bingo. I don't need lenses. Water bolt. We got another spell. Uh, some of my piggy bank. Here. Take some stuff. You can have... Well, this can get thrown away. Um, you can have this relic. You can have my fishing pole. You can have all my bait for right now. As you can see, I caught some extra quest fish. Um, because I was tired of not having them. Okay. I think we're good now. Cool, we got Water Bolt. Now I can continue unabated. Just gotta focus on killing stuff. But yeah, here's Water Bolt. It bounces a ton. Which actually makes it pretty good for the dungeon. And here's our first chest that we found that we need a key. So let's light it up. Just like that, so we know it's there. Ooh, that's a trap. Dummy. You know, if I don't disable that, I'm going to fall for it again. Okay. Oh, hey, there's the mechanic. Oh, why'd you have to kill her? Now I gotta find her again. Assholes. Here, have some water. Jerks. Okay. Come at me, Skull. I ain't scared of you. The Clothier spawned. That's the guy that... That's the old man. It's nice. We got another NPC. I'm just gonna kind of schmoove through here. Stop it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Also, that's a uh, that's one of the hard mode chests that we need a key for. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the hallowed chest. Dang it, back to the dungeon. But let's drop off some stuff. 
Also, with those bones, I'm pretty sure we can craft the void bag. You use bones for the piano. That's cool. That's funny. Because you play the you play the bones. Is this is a meteorite piano. Teapot. Why was the teapot in the middle of the pianos? Why are there so many pianos? So we make the deck necro armor if we were playing range. That's cool. We can make the spinal tap if we were playing summoner. The void bag. Here's what I want. Do I have 15 jungle spores? I think? I hope so. I certainly hope so. I need these. Actually, where are they at anyways? Son of a gun. I'll be right back. I need one more. Man. I want it, so we're getting it. We're making the void bag, so I'm going to the jungle. Time to get a few more jungle spores. I think I can kick the jungle's ass at this point, so that's fine. Hey, I found a wand of sparking. The weapon I would have liked to have a long time ago. Cool. Damn it. That means I passed by it a bunch of times, too. Son of a gun. Just all of you go away. Jungle spores, bingo. I'm actually gonna get some more too. So if I need them later, I don't have to come back. Also, I think I wanna make the void vault thing as well. So let's just get some more. So we got all that we need for the void bag and then we need eight more for the void vault. No, oh, also while we're down here, we do wanna locate. Beehive, but I think I just did. Bingo, I did. This is a small hive. Okay, so while we're down here, there's a few things we want. We want to get out our piggy bank. I want my water bucket. I want to bring back a bucket of honey. And then I want to mine these honey blocks. Okay, I've got some hive blocks. Man, this is not an easy freaking hive to get back to. At all. Okay, well, we got what we wanted. We're going home. Now, there's a few things I'd like to do to finish up. First off, I'm going to quick stack some stuff. Um, I want to make those things. So I've got bones. How many did I need? Do I have enough bones? I think we're going to finish up doing Titan Potion. That's knockback. Uh, we're going to finish up the dungeon next time. Or go back into the dungeon next time. Probably explore it fully. Um...
Let me find it again. Void bag. Okay, I've got enough for both. And that's at a crimson altar for both. Okay. So we gotta go to the crimson and find an altar. Let's do it. Okay, we're in the crimson. Ow. Fall damage. Get him. Get him, Finch. Get him. This is an altar, right? Bingo. Void bag. Void vault. Let's go home. Now, what's cool about the void bag and the void vault... Um, place the void vault. It's storage, right? Well, the void bag... Ooh. That one is one that you can just summon and carry with you. So you have another source of storage with you. And additionally, anything that's excess that you have gets stored here. And I think that applies to the Void Vault as well if you're not carrying the bag. Um, but it's cool to have the bag as an option to carry around as well. So that's a thing. And that's pretty cool. Now I'd like to put the spores away. Um, do I have my statue somewhere? In here. Pink gel. Can I make... We might do one more thing. Wait, where did that go? Give me that. Also, you're in the wrong chest. Okay. Guide. Am I remembering this correctly? Is this how I make restoration potions? Yep. These are pretty good. Um, yeah, these are these are very good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and craft some of these. Let me do that. wherever they're at. Do I not have... I do. What was I missing? Where's my restoration potion? Or am I blind? I'm not blind. What am I missing, guide? Oh, you need a bottle, not a, not a water bottle. Oh... Do I have sand? There we go. Restoration potions. Now, the reason these are good is that they allow for you... One second to have a reduced cooldown on your healing. Um, what do I need for swiftness that I don't have? Cactus in there. Okay. So where is my cactus? Actually, where is my cactus? What the heck? There we go. Okay. Now that I got all that figured out... Um, as I was saying, the main advantage of a restoration potion is you can get a lot more of a uh, reduced cooldown. So a normal cooldown is a minute. Here, let me show you. Let me take some damage. And the cooldown is 45 seconds instead. And it only heals 10% or 10 less health. So it's, uh, it's a pretty solid option. The final thing I'd like to do is I would like to come over here. And just make another small hole. Which is going to take me a minute. So allow me to do that. Okay, hole is dug. Then we're going to take some platforms.
run them across. I'm gonna stop there. Pull out some blocks. And we are going to repeat our cool little trick. That gives us infinite water sources, but this time it works with honey. So let me switch my controls. And let's go. Okay, so I lied. I'm not doing this right now. Because you have to go very slow with honey. And that's annoying. It will be done. Properly jump because my freaking mouse. Okay, so we'll finish that up later. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. That is gonna be it for this time, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload in the future. And with all that said, have a good one, guys.